Okay, so for the very last phase of the first stage of labor, this phase is called transition. So this is the last bit of time frame from where the mom is at a seven centimeters in dilation all the way up to a 10. So if you saw my other video about how to tell about cervical dilation, you'll know that a 10 is the approximately the diameter of a jar of peanut butter, the big ones. Anyways, um, so this is the time frame where the mom is dilating anywhere from that seven centimeters to the 10 centimeters. This is the time frame where a lot of moms um, are completely exhausted. All of their energy in their tank is run out. Um, they're not probably even uh, tuned in to any kind of techniques that might have helped during the active labor, active stage of labor, or the um, or the early labor. So walking doesn't seem to be helpful. Um, different changing of positions doesn't seem helpful. Basically, she just wants this to be done. She wants to be done pushing. She wants this to be over with. She doesn't have much more patience, much more energy to last. And so this usually ends up being the most shortest um, phase of the first stage of labor because it only lasts usually from like 30 minutes to about two hours. It kind of just depends. But this is the, this is it. This is the last big thing before baby's ready to start coming out and mom's ready to start pushing. And so the best thing to do is to continue to encourage mom because she doesn't know how much longer it's going to be before she can start pushing. And if you let her know that when it's time to start pushing, she's just going to feel more, um, just better because she's actually able to have a hand in the process, then it's going to be easier for her. Um, because then she can actually actively do something to help speed this process along and that's to give a really great effective push but at this point she's kind of like gosh you know i i've been sitting here for hours i've been laboring all this time and i'm still not completely dilated to 10 centimeters and i'm just losing my mind and I wish that my support person would just get out of my face. I just want everybody out of this room. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want it to be over. So I exaggerate because not all women are like that. There are some that are so perfectly fine with this stage of labor. There are some that are completely under complete control with their pain, um, either by their own um, emotional and their own mental way of getting through it, or they have an epidural everybody's different, but I'm just talking generally about the fact that this is a, this is the last phase of it all. And so, um, this is the time to give that encouragement. Like, you know, you're, you're so close to being done. You've come so far. Don't forget all of the hours that you've put into this point to get here. You're almost done. It, it really isn't going to take as long as it's taken to get this far. So just know that you're on the downside of the hill and before you know it, you're going to be able to hear your baby and you're just going to be so happy that this is almost over. And so um, sometimes at this point, the mom doesn't even have enough energy or enough um, spunk or <laughs> pizzazz to even talk anymore. She's just tired and she might still be uh, resting she in between contractions if she can or complete fatigue is set in and she's just not able to stay awake too much in between each contraction um, but definitely just keep telling her that it's not it's not going to last as long as she's been so far so just keep being supportive um, there's also other things that are happening to the body so there could be ship excuse me chills or shaking um, just basically, or, you know, nausea is set in and she's starting to feel sick to her stomach. She may vomit. Um, <clears throat> there's just a lot of things that are happening. There's a lot of adrenaline running through the body. The body's basically been working on like top notch speed the entire time that she's been in labor. So at this point, the body's just plain wore out and tired. Um, so there's just, you know, a lot of things going on with the body. And so... Um, that is all normal. If we see what we call as labor nurses, like the, 
the labor shakes or, um, you know, the chills or whatever, then we know that, um, that delivery is, is pretty close. It's going to be near. And then she may even have these, um, involuntary needs to push or her body's just starting to want to push. And so then, you know, um, as a nurse, we would go in and, and check her cervix and, and see if, if she's made the progress to 10 yet. So uh, it can really last, you know, um, less than 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes or more, two hours, maybe even more. It just kind of depends. Um, but definitely um, just be supportive for your partner. Love them um, and and just let them know that they're doing great and that they're almost done. So. I hope this video has helped. Make sure that you subscribe, you like the video, and let me know if there's anything more that I can touch on that would be important for you to see. Thanks for watching.